Hey everyone, welcome back to another Pro Series Highlights video, this time from 70.3 Zell MC Capron in Austria, one of the most spectacular races on the entire circuit. And I'm not just saying that, let's take a look at these images. It's absolutely incredible, a really tough course thanks to the bike especially, but the run was also notably hard, as a lot of the athletes mentioned after the race. It is one of those races that all of these athletes have on their bucket list, not only to race, but also to do well at. It is a very prestigious title to take home. And especially when you have pretty strong lineups like you always get at these Pro Series races. A lot of athletes chasing those Pro Series points, but also many are here just to test themselves in what is an ever-growing, stronger and stronger contingent of athletes at this middle distance. A lot of short course athletes making that jump up and we're seeing a lot more names stand out, many of whom we haven't heard before. And a couple of them we have heard of before, but they are just solidifying their names in the sport. And they were two German athletes today who did just that. Mika Nu and Carolyn Pohl. And let's kick it off with Mika Nu first and how he pulled off this stunning result here. He started off with a fantastic swim. Front pack, as always for him. A couple athletes did break away at the very front. And then Jan Stratman and Florian Anger were just behind them. But Mika was in that front group that meant he was right in the lead group on the bike from the start. And then it was as if he listened to Joe Skipper in commentary when during the swim, Joe said the best time to make a break to get away from strong runners in the field would be at the beginning of a climb. And that's exactly what Mika did. And he made such a big move that he left pretty much everyone in the dust behind him, except for Yella Gaines, who did so well in Talon last week. And so it was just those two for quite a while. But then when they got to the top of the climb, Yella said he never saw Mika again, and he was just descending so incredibly and then keeping his speed so that he picked up a four and a half minute lead coming into T2. And Mika is known to have an exceptionally fast run, and it was going to be no challenging him from here on out. He smashed the bike course record with a 202 bike split, outbiking the likes of Robert Callan. Remember him, he set the world's fastest Ironman bike split and broke the course record last week. He outbiked him by five minutes here. So Mika clearly in some insane form right now. He'd only raced a few times before this race this year, so taking his time and a lot of other athletes are racing nonstop. He was obviously feeling really fresh for this one. Yellow Gaines was next off the bike and was running really fast to start but not making near enough inroads to Mika, who looked really comfortable at the front. Then it was a large chase group behind them, and there was going to be a lot of back and forth and position changes in that group on the run. But it was all about Mika Nu up front, who comfortably took an emphatic win and showed why he is a easy wildcard selection for Ibiza T100 in four weeks time. Yellow Gaines then proving why middle distance really suits him. He just needs a little bit more time you'd have to imagine to finally let his run legs show that we know he's got as a new father too. This is quite the adjustment for him. And then Gregor Payette picked up an insanely good third place as well with a blistering run to show why he is making the move up from short course as well. And these were the results with Tom Hook picking up the fastest run split of the day to come home in fourth ahead of another German, Jan Stratman. Now moving then over to Carolyn Pohl and her back-to-back -back dominant win here. It started off with another brilliant swim, although she wasn't alone like she was last weekend. She this time had the likes of Lauren Brandon helping her out, as well as Lana Meisner and Rebecca Clark. So a really fast swim for them that allowed them to get a gap on some of Carolyn's top competitors like Laura Madsen, Ellie Saltels, Els Visser, Lisa Norton, to mention just a few. After T1, she had regained the lead and went to the front, bringing with her Lena Meisner for a little while, but it wouldn't be long before she was all on her own. And actually out onto the bike, she didn't have as impressive a ride as Mika did, not necessarily, because her gap didn't really increase to everyone else as it did in talent, but it was enough to hold off that advantage she'd gained on the swim 
to those toughest competitors. And that's still super impressive though, because it was a chase pack behind her and she was doing all the work on her own at the front and showing she can not only mix it up on a pretty straightforward course like Talon, but also on a really technical course like this one. And that to me just shows she is even more well-rounded than we thought. And I can't wait to see more of her. She held on to that lead easily on the run, although Grace Stack was really moving and gaining into the race as it went on. And she eventually ran down Laura Madsen in the last kilometer of the race to take second place. But it was still over a minute and a half behind Carolyn Paul, who this time looked much more confident and pumped up as she crossed the line a lot less uh, emotional and teary-eyed, but just a lot more aggressive, thoroughly impressive win. Behind her, like I said, Grace Tech, brilliant second place. And in third, Laura Matson, the young gun. Elsvisser had a much better result here overall than she did in Talon, picking up some really good Pro Series points. But Ellie Salthouse, also in the dying of the run, managed to pick up a couple more places and finish in fourth place. I think she probably would have wanted more than that, but fourth was the best she could do today. But Carolyn Allegrita will now prepare for it. T100 Ibiza as a wild card with a ton of confidence. I think the big question mark is, is her running up to par with the top runners we know who she'll be going up against? That'll be her biggest challenge. She's got a good few weeks now to prepare for it, and I think she will be ready for the challenge. But next up, all the focus now is on the Nice Ironman World Championships. The Pro Series standings are getting extremely exciting. And it is one heck of a field we're going to see take on for the first time ever that Ironman Nice course as a world championships and if it's anything like the men's race last year it is going to be such an unknown i can't wait to preview that upcoming thank you guys so much for watching let me know your thoughts down below and what your biggest takeaways were we'll see you in the next one